Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I utilize the back testing feature in Crypto Hopper before I deploy my strategy on an exchange. In this case, it's going to be Kraken. Uh, that's the exchange I am going to be back testing my strategy on for this particular configuration. So let's go ahead and jump over to the back testing tab and I will be obviously testing my existing configuration so I do want to click on the load existing configuration button right here it has loaded that configuration which will have all the coins I have selected to trade in addition to the candle size of 30 minutes strategy is multiple TA which I'll show you down below a little more I don't sell based on my strategy I sell on the taking profit at 2.9%. I do have a stop loss. Please always make sure when you're trading have a stop loss. That stop loss percentage is about half a percent. I'm not using the trailing stop loss, but I am using the trailing stop buy, which allows me to get into a position perhaps at a lower price. My trailing stop buy percentage that needs to retrace in a positive direction is just over a quarter percent. I do want it moving up before I enter the trade. Uh, I can have it show or hide my actual strategy settings, which in this case is gonna be RSI, RSI period of nine, oversold threshold of 20, which is the only one that's really going to apply in this case. And then it is necessary for the RSI signal to be met in order to buy, along with Bollinger Bands of the default settings of 22.2. I do change the default uh, moving average from SMA to EMA, and the Bollinger Band signal is also required in order to signal a buy. I'm going to go ahead and hide this again. I have the option to select a period for it to do its test through. Uh, typically it's a 90 day period, which I'm fine with. I'm not gonna change that. Right now we're going to test the BAT token based on my current strategy I have set up for it. So I'll hit start back test. Once it's finished, it will populate the stats over here in the lower left hand corner and we can see my maximum profit would be 3% with 19 wins and 3 losses. Uh, that would be successful as far as I'm concerned. Let's go ahead and one of the things we can do is we can tweak a little and see what would happen if we went to the one hour candles versus 30 minute candles and see if that has any effect. Remember is at 3%. Let's see if that profit goes up. It goes up to 3.9%. Now let's go in the other direction and take this down to 15 minutes and see what the results would be. Our maximum profit amount goes down a little, but we do get quite a few more wins. So something to consider as we move forward. Let's take a look at the next coin, which is going to be BCH. And again, I'm just going to load the existing configuration and start my back test. And we can see it ends up with a 4%. Maximum profit, 10 wins, 2 losers. Again, that would be satisfactory. We can see the results of the actual possible size of the wins. And if we tweak this, let's go to 1 hour. And see what happens there. It actually goes up to 5% with 11 wins and three losses. So we may consider that. Let's go the opposite direction to smaller candle size and see what we end up with. And it looks like our maximum profit ends up going down. We end up with only one loser and 14 winners. Our winners aren't quite as big, and that is probably why our max profit isn't as high. Let's take a look at let's take a look at Dash. Uh, 
Now this is dash on the 15 minute time frame. And we can see it's about four and a half percent, 32 wins, one loss. Let's adjust that to my actual current configuration of 30 minutes and try that. And we see max profit of 3% with 22 wins and three losses. Let's bump it to an hour. And our max profit continues to go down. So the smaller candle sizes appears to be more profitable. We do less trades. Let's take a look at EOS. And this is going to be EOS on the one hour time frame of about 3.5% profit. 12 winners, 2 losers. If you look down here, you can see some of the winners. Let's go ahead and jump that over to my current configuration which is the 30 minutes and I just really want to emphasize that when you're deploying a automated trading bot it's not just set and forget it there's all kinds of testing and configuration tweaks that you need to make uh, right there you can see by bumping to the 30 minute our max profit actually goes up we end up with 23 winners one loss and so the 30 minute in this situation appears to be better than the one hour. Let's take a look at what the 15 minute results would be. And again, back testing is what the past indicates would happen. That does not mean what the future will hold for this market or these trades. And our max profit goes down. So the 30 minute seems to be a better spot for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at ETC and click load existing configuration. So now we're starting with my actual configuration. Now what I would typically do if I start finding coins that are some coins are good at the 30 minute, some are good at the hour and others are better at the 15 minute is I would set up different pools for the coins that perform according to those different time frames and if you're interested in seeing a video about configuring pools on crypto hopper comment down below and also be sure to subscribe because i will be making updated videos to that so let's take a look here and so with this back test on the 30 minute candles we're at almost a five percent win with 20 winners three losses let's switch that to the one hour And so, for instance, if ETC, EOS, and let's say BAT all perform well under the 30-minute candle time frame, I'd lump them all into one pool. And then let's say BCH and maybe ETH and a couple others perform better under the 15-minute, I'd put those under one pool. In this case, it looks like on the one hour, this has jumped up to a 9% maximum profit, 19 winners, one loser. So that really looks like the direction I would go with ETC. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ether. And so on the one hour, this amount of max profit, 1.47%, would not actually be enough for me to justify trading this coin via the bot because once I had my fees, this would be wiped out and would not be profitable. So let's take it down to the 30 minute and see if we become more profitable. So we went from 1.47 to over double that to 3.84% profit, ending up with 11 winners and three losers. Let's take it the next step and we'll see what the 15 minute candle size results would produce. And so we go from 384 to 458 
We have less winners, I believe. Now we're at 13 winners. That might be the same. I'd have to go back and look. And we only have one loser. So the 15 minute time frame for Ether appears to be the best of the three. Now, there are, as you can see, there's all kinds of different time frames in here. I generally stick somewhere with the 1530, one hour, and in some cases in a really volatile market or when the market's really selling off, I'll bump it out to the two hour. But for the most part, I use 30 as my comfort zone, uh, but the one hour and 15s uh, do work as well. So let's go to the next coin, which is Link. And take a look at that back test. And we can see on the 15 minute time frame, we are at about a 5%, 16 winners, no losers. Let's see what the 30 minute produces. Now the 30 minute we bump up from 5% to over 8% and what's interesting is we end up with three losers and only 15 winners. Now what that tells me is our losers are small and our winners are bigger and that's what we're really looking for when we're trading. I typically have my bots configured at a 1 to 3 risk versus reward or a 1 to 4 risk versus reward. I'm always looking for low risk, high reward. And in this case, I really like what I see with the 30 minute. Let's see if we increase anything by jumping up to the one hour. And the one hour cuts it in about half. Uh, we end up with less winners, uh, same amount of losers. So that 30 minute is definitely the target zone for Link. And if you start to wonder how I keep track of all that, obviously one, you could jot it down in a notebook or they do have a tab with your back test history and that will show you all the back testing you just did. So for instance, we just did link on the 15, on the 30 and the one hour and we can see between the three, the profit best was here at the 30 minute zone with 8.32%. Uh, and it will show you a few of your other factors like how long you had to hold. I had to hold typically a day versus seven hours on the 15 minute or 17 hours on the one hour time frame. And then the same thing with ETH. If you can't remember what was your best performing candle size or strategy there, all your back testing history is there. And you can look down through all this back testing history we did, which time frame was the best and this would help you configure those pools I was talking about to figure out which ones do best on the one hour like ETC obviously did really well on the one hour and EOS not so hot on the one hour he's looking better at that 30 minute so that's another nice feature of the back testing is once you've tested them all you can go check your history and then you can also jump over to the best configurations and this is going to show everything I've done over the last couple of days as far as back testing on this particular crack and strategy I've been working on and one of my better ones was bat and that was with a stop loss of 0.49 percent on the one hour candle the overall profit was going to be just almost eight percent and i could go through here and basically cherry pick everything as well it will show my actual best strategy so i could just go ahead and start setting up my pools according to these best strategies we can see a one hour a 30 a one hour 15 30 one hour another 15 another 30 another 15 down here in litecoin and all these figures are in a zone I would be comfortable uh, trading with, uh, especially with BTC. If I can get 3% profit, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can see ETC is looking at a 13% profit, Link at an 8. Uh, these are just my best 
configurations. And that is what I'm actually looking for is the best possible configuration given my strategy, making sure I am successful more often than I am selling with a loss. As long as that is the case, I know with my risk reward ratio, which I will also be doing a new video on here in the near future. So again, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you didn't do it earlier. Um, but it's real important that your risk is low and your reward is high. But if you're winning more than you're losing, you can actually put on a little more risk. Uh, at this time, I don't necessarily put on more risk. I'm real comfortable with my risk reward ratio and uh, I'm going to stick with it for the time being. And it is very important to remember past performance, not guaranteed future results. Everything this back testing feature is showing me is past performance, not guaranteed for future results. So that's another reason why I don't go off of just the back testing. I deploy my stop losses. I deploy a higher reward than risk ratio. There is an ever changing environment to this battlefield that you constantly have to be aware of and taking advantage of the opportunities. And with that being said, that is what I wanted to show you about this back testing. It's a great tool to give you more information, which is what recon is all about gathering information. So I think it's good. That's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, click the like button, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That will let you know when new videos come out. And remember, never send your money into battle without doing recon first. See you.